October 21st, 2022, I hosted an event that was a prophetic pop-up in Atlanta, Georgia. During that meeting, I heard the song of the Lord and began to declare over the women, here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. When I went home that night, I kept singing that song. It was so strong. The room was electric. I mean, I was laying hands on women. There were like 500 people in the room and we streamed it online. It was so heavy. I felt like it was a declaration that the Lord was saying. And he told me, Alexis, I want you to record a song or record a prayer that says, here comes the bride. Well, I want to release it to you. Those women who have been waiting, anticipating, and I want to put my faith with yours that here comes the bride. May it be a supernatural declaration and may it happen for you as it has happened for others. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, I thank you for this woman listening right now, that she is ready and set for her marriage, that she is ready for the man that you have called to be in her life. I decree and declare, here comes the bride, and may it be a declaration of her readiness. No longer single, she will be walking in the fullness of every prophetic word that has been spoken over her life. That she will be walking in the fullness of every prophetic dream that she has dreamed at night. That every prophetic dream that her loved ones and friends have had concerning her. We decree and declare here comes the bride and she will be stepping into her destiny concerning the set man that you have for her. I thank you that you have ordained her to be married before the foundation of the earth and so we call forth her husband that before you formed her in her mother's womb you had called her forth to be a bride. May her husband be a man of integrity, a man who follows the word, a man who is settled in his heart, who is not double-minded, who will hear and do what the word says and leave and cleave for his wife. He will not be double-minded. Father, I thank you that you will send him the dream of the Lord and may he be called to this woman. I pray that they will be connected like magnets, that they will be attracted to one another. I call forth your daughter the woman who is already a bride in the heavenlies. Father, may what is in heaven manifest here on earth. I prophesy bride that she is no longer unmarried, but here comes the bride embracing her new chapter that before you formed her in her mother's womb, you knew her and called her, anointed her. And so we call her forth, hallelujah, as the bride and that we cancel the life of the enemy concerning her. I thank you, Lord, that she shall get married. In the name of Jesus, I call forth her mantle of marriage. Here comes the bride adorned with her mantle. We call her out of her singleness, out of her loneliness, out of abandonment and fear. And we say, Lord, she is ready. She is ready for her assignment. She is ready for the alignment for the man that you have ordained. We pray that you manifest him, manifest him in the natural. She is ready for him, a man full of wisdom, knowledge and might, a man who only has eyes for her. We cancel every ungodly relationship that he may have. We call him out of every situationship in the name of Jesus. We call him out of every sexual relationship in the name of Jesus. We call him out of his slumber. We call him out of despair. We call him out of this place of lackluster and we say that he shall be ready to receive his bride, that he will be able to see her, that his eyes will be wide open in the name of Jesus, that he will not 
grapple or struggle concerning her, but he will know that he knows. I pray that you would ignite it in his spirit, man, that he would be frustrated until he knows I am with the woman that you have called me to be with. We say, here comes the bride in the eyes of this man of God, who is a man of legacy, who carries her as an assignment that he is assigned to in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that the supernatural portals for marriage are open. May the angels of the Lord do your bidding and connect this man and this woman from different countries, from different states, online, offline, at different parties, at different events, at churches, wherever it's going to be. Father, I thank you that the angels of the Lord would do your bidding and do your work to connect this man and woman together for destiny and purpose that what you called before the foundation of the earth is now happening. I pray that there be a catalyst for marriages all over the globe in the name of Jesus that every block, every satanic demonic block that is blocking relationships from connecting we cancel it in the name of Jesus and just as you declared in your word that the wedding of the bridegroom has come and the bride has made herself ready we say she is ready this woman listening now is ready here comes the bride it is time it is time so father I pray that you have mercy concerning your daughter listening now and show forth your power and your glory to make this thing happen not by might not by power but by your spirit do it now not by might not by power but by your spirit do it now hallelujah and let it testify to millions of women all over the globe may women be getting married in Africa. May they be getting married in Canada. May they be getting married in Australia. May they be getting married in Mexico. May they be getting married in South America, in North America. May they be getting married all over the globe. In the name of Jesus. And may it be a supernatural prophetic love story that will change the lives of many. Here comes the bride inspiring stories across generations all over the globe and so we call forth mothers daughters sisters and cousins and even grandmothers and we thank you Lord that the curse over the family has been broken concerning them being unwed I thank you Lord that women in their 70s and 80s will even be getting married in the name of Jesus and that every familiar spirit is thwarted every false start is born Every broken heart is canceled. May it cease. I decree peace be still. Hallelujah. And Father, when they meet this man, I pray their hearts will burn inside of them that they will know that they know. Hallelujah. Did not our hearts burn inside of us? Did not we know that he was connecting us for his greater glory? Father, I thank you that neither one of them will run, that they will submit to your word, that they will submit to your way. May they be in obedience, extreme obedience, extreme extreme obedience and let them let go of every past relationship and let them let go of every past thing that did not manifest that came to break them but Lord I thank you for the it's a new day and there are new things being being declared over their life and so no longer will they have to hold on to something that does not benefit them but father I thank you that this word will ignite something inside of them that it will stir up something inside of them that they will say father hallelujah it's going to happen for me that they will taste and see that you are good in the name of Jesus and let them walk in allegiance to your word and obedience because obedience is better than sacrifice 
glory. Hallelujah. I call forth your elected son. I call forth your elected daughter. And may they flourish together as husband and wife. As wife and husband. A match made in heaven with you as the three chord strand that's not easily broken. Oh God, I thank you. Hallelujah. That you'll make it just like it was in the word where the servant recognized who was to be the wife of his master. Lord, I call forth the wives to rise up. Hallelujah, that you would make it clear. May it be something that they're wearing or something that they're doing or the way their hair is or the way their smile is that you would make it clear to the man of God that she is the one that you have sent to be a helpmate and not a hindrance in the name of Jesus. Confirm it in your word. Ooh, confirm it in your word confirm it in their dreams that they are ready that they are prepared that it is their time here comes the bride that it is their time here comes the bride and may the words come alive that I am prophesying inside of the woman's belly who is listening now hallelujah Hallelujah, I call forth hope because hope deferred makes the heart sick. I call forth hope inside of their belly. Hallelujah, I see you listening. I see you and I see you saying I'm tired. Well, Father, I pray. Hallelujah that you would ignite their faith right now like never before. Ignite their faith to believe again. Ignite their faith to dream again. Ignite their faith. Roshantaya Mandesekaya de Besoya Rushataya Makoya Mandekena Romoshati Rushata Mandekeaya Amandesekeya Hallelujah Glory 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 I just hear the Lord saying it is finished I hear the Lord saying, it is finished and you shall see the manifestation. It will be manifested right in front of your eyes. Don't compromise. Don't look to the left or the right, but stand still and see my salvation concerning this because I'm going to move like you have never seen me move and I'm going to send you evidence. I'm going to send you evidence. I'm going to send you evidence. Watch and see how my hand moves concerning your mate. Watch and see how I honor my word because my word shall not return back to me void. Watch and see what I do as you cause your faith to be renewed in me. Watch and see what I'm going to do for you. For I have already paid the price. I've already paid the price. Let me finish the work. It is finished, says the Lord. Here comes the bride, ready to embrace her beautiful, blessed life. Here comes the bride. In Jesus' name, amen.